It's very effective at removing the blockage to a bladder. The trade-off with a TURP is that there is a not insignificant risk of bleeding, and some men do require a blood transfusion. There are also sexual function issues that can accommodate this surgery, and they can include erectile dysfunction and also ejaculatory changes. And a term that you may have heard beforehand is something called retrograde ejaculation. That's a process whereby when a man has an orgasm, instead of emitting fluid out the end of the penis, it can go backwards into the bladder. Some men don't like the concept of this, other men really don't care. As I've highlighted, when we compare TURP to green light laser prostatectomy, if we look at some of the similarities and some of the differences between the two. So to begin with, the aim of treatment is the same between the two. And in essence, that is to create a cavity within the prostate with the net result that we improve the pressure or the flow with which men generate when they pee. When men are recovering from cavitating surgery, the first thing that they're aware of is that the flow goes up. Gradually, the bladder adjusts to no longer being obstructed,